this time instead of using pure bromine we're just going to use bromine water and this time we're going to let the carrot sit in there for quite a bit longer so we're going to put a couple different sized chunks in this first one is pretty large relative to the size of the beaker Keep this little piece of carrot on the side to compare the color after we've let it sit for a while. Put a couple small pieces in, see if those will change to white. So there's the beta carotene in the carrot, which is uh, has a lot of double bonds. So the bromine should react with that beta carotene without any catalyzation needed. And so we should see the color of the carrot change, and we should also see the bromine color change as we let these pieces sit over time. So you can see the bromine has lost its color. The carrot is still orange. But there are spots that are white relative to the rest. Some of the smaller chunks are now white. So this is the piece of carrot that was left out, not in contact with any bromine. You can see the definite color difference here, the orange between that and say this or this or this. It looks like there was a little bit less change for the larger carrot than the smaller pieces.